priorities should be security, housing, food, and water in that order. Without housing and food, new immigrants will not move into your city. Rome now wishes your city to grow food. Build a farm on fertile land. Look for the yellow tufts that indicate this. Connect it to housing with a path. If the housing is too far away, the farm will not get access to labor. Build a granary near to the farm and make sure that it too has access to labor. When the wheat is ripe, a cart will carry it to the granary. Gradually, the granary will fill up. The fewer empty windows you can see, the fuller the granary is. Ladies and gentlemen, guys and gals, welcome back to Caesar 3. We are playing Caesar 3 Augustus and Mission 2, Brandisium, Feeding the Populace. With Augustus, we have a number of new features if you are unaware. It is a modded version of Caesar 3 and in this playthrough we have a special challenge where we have to do forced walkers on every map which will allow us to create new unique interesting cities maybe they might even look beautiful now augustus does a few things zooming in and zooming out and we have global walkers in uh, global workers enabled which means Industry buildings don't need to seek for workers. Now, uh, winning this map should be relatively simple. We tend to always build here, but you know, let's let's go ahead and use the forced walker technique a little bit, so we can like maybe maintain this forest in the middle there. What we're gonna do is we're gonna have a little area over. I'm gonna convert this area over here to some industry working area, and then we just need the beginnings of our forced walker loop. So we can just go ahead and do this, uh, do that, swing around there. We can go ahead and swing all the way over here. No biggie, come back this way. And we're gonna do that. That is gonna be our loop. Interesting, no? Uh, let's get some people moved in. Uh, just... Nice big row of houses right there. Easy enough to manage. I need a little room behind them. And then we just have to... How do we want to do this? Uh, so the farmland is down here. I've planned this a little bit weirdly, but it's okay. We can make it work. So I'm just going to throw... a granary here. We'll extend the road out through like this. Let's also spam some prefectures because things will definitely burn down. Let's spam some engineers posts to match the prefectures. Okay, good. Uh, what I just need is I need a granary down this way. So let me... Let's turn this into a granary. Building like this is going to be pretty weird to start, but I, I tend to get used to things pretty quick. Okay, We also have Augustus changes granaries so that only the roads which is touching an outside counts as a road in there. So this is still technically a straight line. So now we can go to farms and start throwing down some wheat farms. Okay, good. Uh, we probably do need a lot more workers than this so let's throw down another row of housing right there and we can maybe throw a reservoir right in the middle here but we don't have reservoirs yet okay let's give them wells throw down some houses here as well good okay the start of a city that may look a very, very unfamiliar to you. By the way, all of this, the forced walker technique does work on Pharaoh as well. And I assume Pharaoh A New Era, the remake of Pharaoh, uh, will be allowing us to do this as well. Hopefully. Hopefully. Did I put a senate down? 
I guess so. We can just have the Senate there, and I want the road to cover that. Good. So, before, I've done um, natural cities, and they were sort of natural, but Forced Walkers allows us to get some proper natural cities. And also we have roadblocks because of Augustus, so I can roadblock here, and that will just ensure some stability here. Good, good. Uh, we're still short 83 workers. All right, we need, we need people to move in so that we can feed them, because we need people to work at the farms. So let's bring in a few more people. Food starting to come in. I'm gonna set this to getting wheat, and I can turn off market ladies from this granary so that market ladies do not come this way. Got reservoirs, good. And so I can throw down that reservoir right here. That looks great. And I just need an aqueduct escaping from the forest over to. The riverside. And that allows us to provide clean fountain water. I don't have enough. Wait, hold on. Do I have advisors yet? I don't have advisors yet. Okay, so I can't prioritize the workforce, I just need more people. Food starting to be brought over. Good. Growing your city. Nice. Uh, we need to go ahead and grab a market. Now the market is going to go down here. Somewhat close to the granary. I actually think I'm going to change this road layout a bit so the market can go here. Swap this road setup to be like this. Good. So now the market lady, which by the way, thanks to Augustus, we can tell them what to buy, can grab the wheat from here. And start feeding the houses. Good, good. I'm not sure if this transport distance is going to be a bit too far, but you'll see the market lady just walk all the way through. This is a first feeding, so it's going to be a little bit of a struggle. They need some religious facilities, so I should probably start throwing down some temples. Let's give these guys series, and then... Need to have... I'm just gonna put a row of temples here, so the gods don't get angry at me. We don't need series. There we go. So, series coverage should cover all the houses as well. Great. I might need a second granary. But maybe we're just short on food. We just need more workers. What do you want? Come on, move in. There's plenty of room for, for people to move in. Let's throw down some gardens to help evolve these houses. This should help. Good, nice. That should get us the people we need. Just the desirability issue. Taxes and industry. So we should go ahead and throw down our schools. These guys need... Desirability is a problem. Everywhere. No entertainment, right. So if I throw a theater here, it should just provide entertainment to everyone, even without an actor's colony. Right? Okay, food is stocking up. So as people move in, I just need to make sure that we... ...maintain. Do this. Have this road do this. Connecting into there. And if I roadblock 
there. Does that make this... I don't know if granaries register roadblocks as a direction to walk. I think it doesn't. I could merge all houses in Augustus. Yeah, but I don't want to do that. There's some things I, I don't want to do. Okay, so one market feeding all these people, a little tricky. A little tricky. Uh, because I should have put... Lesson learned, lesson learned. I haven't done Force Walkers a lot. The Force Walker point should be near the source of food. <laughs> right? Uh, we're still... Yeah, we need to... Boost up some gardens. Very good. Uh, we can now uh, get rid of the wells. Good. And then they need... Do we have libraries? We don't have libraries, which means we have to spam some schools. We'll need at least two, I think. And that might cover everyone. Yes, that covers everyone. Good. So I think we do need just one more granary down here. If I just throw a granary... Here. And set this to getting wheat. We should be able to bring a lot more wheat up this way. Because we have plenty. Yeah, it's starting to overflow as well. That should... Actually, the market has enough food. The market's doing fine. Uh, it's just a desirability problem. Right. Uh, now that the fountains are all working, I should be able to get rid of the wells. Allowing me to throw down more gardens. There we go. That should get us the people we need. Do we have industries? Uh, have they provided us... Yes! Okay. We should be setting up this... Oh, they buy wheat. It's a land trade route? Yeah, let's open it. Nice touch from Augustus as well. It shows the kind of trade route it is. Let's open the trade route. I might be in debt. We can sell extra wheat. And we'll sell pottery as well. Hmm. You got through those funds quickly. Try to make these new funds last longer. No problem. It's mission two. It's mission two. I just need to throw down a warehouse. Okay. This warehouse can accept wheat. Uh, where's the fire? Oh, right, those. <laughs> Whoops! It's my bad. My bad. Oh no, this is... I hate it when this happens. Should cover that. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, let's see this. Okay. Uh, let's, let's get some trade going, shall we? I'm gonna throw a warehouse down here. This is going to be accepting pottery. Then we just need to throw down raw materials, clay pits. One, two, three. And then we need workshop, pottery. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven. Okay. Uh, uh, shot on quite a few workers. Uh, food looks fine though, so I think we can just go ahead and make some room here. We're gonna end up chopping down most of these trees. It's fine. Let's do that. Okay. Fountain right here. Let's bring in some extra people. This is to get... Do we have plazas yet? We don't have plazas. That's why we're struggling a little bit on desirability. Uh, the, the fountains are like not maintaining... 
We need more people to move in. These houses are still so empty. Where is everyone? Where are the immigrants? Some of these early missions have weird behavior. Check advisors. We don't have access to advisors. Oh, we have access to advisors. <laughs> when did it give us access? Let's drop taxes. People love me. All needs are met. No health problems. Uh, no, no problems reported. City short. Poor city mood prevents immigration. Okay. When did they give us access to that? <laughs> uh, it's it's old uh, old game problems. They just unlock buttons that, and then they don't tell you about it. I mean, there's a pop-up, but it's like, I didn't read that. <laughs> Once we get all the buttons from the start, it becomes a lot easier to manage. Alright, so I've dropped taxes, and I've raised wages, so that should fix city mood relatively quickly. Oh, I have advisors now, so I can prioritize water services prefectures and engineering okay good now we just wait for people to start moving in again yes yes it's nothing to do with the move oh it's purposefully blocked on this mission ah of course it is. So we need to provide pottery. Or need to store pottery. So then it'll unlock immigration. It's it's actually stopping us from winning, I think. Because what's the win condition? Your priorities should be security. 650. <laughs> Right, right. As soon as soon as pottery is stored and it allows immigrants, we just immediately win. Oh. Okay, hold on, hold on. Hold on, we're about to win. I just need to do this thing. Come on, pottery. Can I can I prior hold on. We can do this real quick. I just do that. With pottery in the warehouse, and I just immediately win. I just immediately win. <laughs> you learn quickly. You now have the skills to complete a real assignment. From now on, you can choose your career's direction. Take the more peaceful province to concentrate on governing, or the more dangerous one to confront Rome's enemies. All right, that's the end of mission two. We are, of course, going to be continuing on to the next mission, but you have to click the button on the screen to do it. Uh, so if you're watching on YouTube, click the button on the screen right now. Click it, click it, and I'll see you in mission three. All right, I'll see you there.